when I raced the King of the Hammers this year, you know, we, we had a good run going and uh, we had some problems early on and uh, I, I felt the car had a lot more in it. And then, uh, I don't know, when I, when I started looking at my year, I, I kind of had a, a slow June when, you know, I only had three events and I had an open weekend. So I was like, we, we need to do something different. I feel that the, the, the Baja thing, like it, it needs something new and exciting. And I felt that if I did everything right, I could create a buzz around something that's nothing. And uh, that's kind of what I wanted to do. So we, we made a plan behind the scenes and wrote press releases and went testing and did everything behind the scenes. And then we put it out in a way that I, I wanted everyone to follow it in a way that everyone wanted to watch what I was doing from the time that we announced the press release all the way up to the race, all the way till after the race. So in, in that sense, it's, it's kind of what we, we had planned. My Baja experience uh, for the 500 was amazing. I mean, yeah, there's always the haters that are gonna hate, but. I knew that was going to happen from the beginning. I mean, obviously I'm driving something totally different and no one really knew. I mean, there were some people that sit there and say that it only goes 30 miles an hour wide open and then, you know, there's people that say the opposite. You know, I, I feel that the experience was good. I, I went down, we went to qualifying. I, I did what I wanted to do. Could I have gone faster? Absolutely. And, uh, but that wasn't our plan. Our plan was to finish. Our plan was to get through qualifying. Uh, the plan was a pre-run and, and go down there and go hang out with friends and see all our other friends that race trophy trucks, you know. Because I do this for a living, I have a lot of friends that race in the trophy truck class. So getting to be down there and hang out with them all, like, I, I wanted to live it and never really got to do it as my own team. And to do it this year as my own team was, was awesome. Casey is a very unique guy. He's a, he's a marketing professional that races. And uh, I think that's what it takes now, nowadays to be a professional racer is to look at the marketing side of it, you know, and the racing side of it. The experience in Baja, yeah, the last time we did Baja in a, in a four-wheel drive, we raced Jeep Speed. And, I, you know, I think my son was probably 14. Casey was maybe 16 or something like that. And uh, uh, I just remember my son was driving and I was driving on the, in the, the co-driver's seat. And uh, it was a four-wheel drive as well and we were having some issues, it wasn't running right. It run right for about the first half hour, and then all of a sudden the thing would start acting up, we couldn't figure out what it was. And some of what I remember doing it was getting down in the silt beds and telling my son, do not lift, just hold it wide open to get to the other side, I'm not gonna get out and push this thing, and, and getting through that. And, and I think I've always had a fear of silt beds ever since then, because you get in them, you can't see where you're going, you don't know if you're gonna run into something, and it's so deep, you know, especially when you're in a, a, a vehicle like uh, a Jeep Speed. It has maybe two, 300 horsepower. It's only on a 33 inch tall tire. And so I've always kind of had this fear of silt beds. You get in there, you get stuck, you can't get out. Somebody's gonna run into the back of you, you know. And uh, so that was when he first said, hey, we wanna go back and do the 500. That's kind of the first thing that I think of when I you know, think about desert racing is, you know, those dang silt beds. My plans with SCORE is to build a new four-wheel drive trophy truck. Uh, I want to build something that is suited to fit the King of the Hammers, go down and do the rock crawling stuff, but be way more suited for the desert. So I want to build a, an A-arm car, and I have some ideas, and I'm working with a lot of great companies right now to come down and, I'm not saying change the world, but it's time to make people look at things differently.